the two ayat are Baqarah and uh, Surat Ibrahim. This is the dua of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Rabbi ja'al hadha baladan amina in Surat Al-Baqarah. My Lord, make this a peaceful city. My Lord, make this a peaceful city. Rabbi ja'al hadha balada amina. Lord, make this city peaceful. Now the English is very similar to the Arabic here as far as the meaning. Make this a peaceful city versus what? Make this city peaceful. You would think it's the same dua almost. Even in the Arabic, there's a difference just of an alif lam. Hadha baladan aminan and hadha balada aminan. Small difference. But actually before Mecca was a city, he made a dua to turn it into a city and to turn it into a peaceful city. So the first dua, Rabbi ja'al hadha baladan aminan, is when he had not even seen the city turn into a city yet. And the dua was to turn it into a city that happens to be peaceful. When he came back alayhi salam to the city, and it was already a city, he modified his dua and said what? Make this city, which already exists, make it peaceful, safe. Subhanallah. It's very precise. Very precise wording. Now on top of this, I want to share with you what is the further component, what are the further components of this dua? رَبِّ جَعَلْ هَذَا بَلَدًا آمِنًا Make this a peaceful city. What are the requirements of peace in a city? What are the, is, is peace the only thing you look for in a city? If you can't make any money and there's lots of police protection, the society is going to fall apart anyway because people can't survive. So in the first dua, he made a complete dua for a establishment of a healthy, sustainable city. He said, رَبِّ جَعَلْ هَذَا بَلَدًا آمِنًا وَارْزُقْ أَهْلَهُ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ Provide its citizens from all kinds of fruit. Make sure that they're taken care of, they have provisions. So he made dua for the peace of a city and the prosperity of that city. You need both these things. So when he made dua that his city come into being, he made dua of these two things. مَنْ آمَنَ مِنْهُمْ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ Whoever believes in Allah in the last day, provide them with all kinds of fruits. But if you come to the bottom one, was it already a city now? Yeah, it was already being provided for, that was taken care of, he didn't want to ask for that again because it was already there. So he asked for something else. وَجْنُبْنِي وَبَنِيَّ أَنْ نَعْبُدَ الْأَصْنَامِ Protect me and my children, prevent us that we may end up falling into the worship of idols. Because now when a city is peaceful and it's safe, necessarily what might happen is corruption. When life is good, you tend to party. And the worst kind of partying that shaitan will get you into is what? Shirk. Shirk. He's, he sees this, the farsightedness of Ibrahim salam. So when he came back to the city, his dua was, don't let this be a place of idol worship. Prevent me and my children from worshipping idols. Subhanallah. Alayhi salam, the genius of that man.